What is happening, gang? It's your boy, DBGTX, and we are back with another JoJo's All-Star Battle R review. That is right. We are reviewing another character here. Today, we have Keicho Nijimura. Now, I'm not going to sit here and make a script because that's not the kind of person I am. I don't like wording my videos in a way that makes it sound like it's not natural or that I'm trying to give you guys some... I don't know scientific insight that's not my style of review my style of review is natural and it is actually part of what my experience actually has been versus just playing for two hours and then saying this is what it is i've given this character a full 24 hours before dropping my review i have done some lab sessions and i have played online to see how the character acts and plays online On top of that i will also be talking about the damage outputs that he has and how it compares to other jojo all-star battle R characters primarily the diablos and anasuis of the bunch and then finally we're going to talk about his ultimate and his design now those things in the backside are not really very important in regards to you know what they make up of the character i also want to go ahead and throw it out there and let you guys know how i feel about this particular ultimate because we already did our ultimate tier list so gotta make sure that we post it up there how i feel about this without further ado let's go ahead and hop into this review so let's go ahead and get right into it y'all already know what to do if you haven't done it slap the thumbs up slap the like slap the share continue coming through here on the channel for some more jojo's all-star battle hour content and let's get this review on the road all right so let's go ahead and get this party started the very first thing that we want to go ahead and discuss is obviously the whole model and how his model is designed i honestly think that keicho nijimura has one of the best stand abilities in the game and his variety in his stand makes it so much different and so much enjoyable than what i was originally expecting from him when we first got his first trailer in his trailer what i didn't notice is that he doesn't have a regular user mode at all but what happens is as you guys can see on the screen is that depending on which side that you're using it changes into either the battle soldiers or the heavy artillery now needless to say on day one not much folks caught this but if you're working with bad company soldier mode your character actually moves a lot faster than he does in his artillery mode right here now needless to say that is not the only change that accompanies his move sets his regular attack pattern, i.e. his weak and his medium, they all stay the same no matter which side you're on. Either way, those two stay the same. Whether you're standing, whether you're crouching, whether you're jumping, those buttons stay the same. Nonetheless, the biggest difference is the heavy button. So with the unit mode or army mode, when you press the heavy, bullet go upward. This is imperative to keep a lot of opponents in the air when you're doing a combo in this mode in order for you to be able to drop his parachute gunner these are imperative to extending not only his combo but to making his character work when you input a technique by the stand when you stand cancel that technique will remain and it is the only way that you can extend a lot of his combo to gain more damage it is very important to know that his technicality level is very high so if you don't use the right technique or the right level of the technique i.e for example in this combo right here if i don't use the medium parachute gunner into stand cancel a lot of the time most of my combos will drop or i will have a hard time continuing the combo and of course very little damage output as you see on the screen and that's really the gist of a lot of his mechanics now that we have established that i want to go ahead and also establish how his combo kit works so in unit mode as you guys can see here or army mode most of his kits are very low attacks designed to go ahead and do sweep motions and whatnot we also have the parachute gunners which is 
a very good zoning technique keeping your character or your opponent at bay basically throughout the entire match using these gunners it's the general premise on how to use Keicho Nijimura nonetheless in both of his stand modes he does have a DP move which essentially comes out at the same speed no matter which one you use but the difference between all three of them is the hit connection and hit detection so if you use the heavy one the heavy one will cause multiple hits and will cause the character to fly higher up in the screen the weaker one will not allow you to get that upward knock and the difference between them based off where you're using this in a combo matters a lot but some of them you can get away with using the weak and then canceling and doing your thing but unfortunately the heavy usage cannot be canceled and does whatever setup you have afterwards it's all based off either an HHA, GHA, or an assist in order to continue your combo. The key thing with this particular moveset is that when you do get the hit, you do also get a frame reset. So being in the corner and catching someone with this will allow you to continue extending your combo as you guys saw there. If you're in the middle zone, unfortunately, there's very few things that you can do in order to continue the combo after the DP. It allows you to reset, allows you to catch a lot of characters off guard if they're doing the jumping beam tactic like a lot of JoJo players generally do, obviously. And it's a different way to go ahead and neutralize them from the overhead besides using the parries here. His lower attack here does consecutive damage up, up to about 36 hit you can't cancel it and use your own techniques in the mix of that after staying canceling in order to use the heavy artillery and continue some combo damage and when you do a heavy artillery you can also cancel yet again in order to continue extending your combo a key thing to pay attention to is that if you are in army mode and you jump you will not have a hover. That is something very important to note because when you are a heavy artillery, you will have a hover with the helicopters and choppers. So that in itself changes the dynamic of how to use the character when you're doing overheads. If you notice, when you use the heavy, he floats in the air with the army unit. Nonetheless, if you use the heavy with the heavy artillery he drops down with the choppers does not having a floating ability because again like i mentioned before between the weak and the medium the character stays the same so being able to do a combo that takes enough damage that is not completely over the top is going to be tricky with him by himself due to the fact that he has very limited option due to the whole switching of the stand and still having the same amount of number inputs of the same hits. In short, if I press square triangle and then I switch over to square triangle here, it's still the same thing and it still counts as two versus it being, for example, with Jotaro in stand mode, you're getting availability to do combo inputs and put up to three times with each button and then when you go to stand mode it's the same thing you get another reset on that side of things where you can go ahead and do a xyz amount of damage on that side of things and you can flip back and forth in order to balance it and extend your combo and as far as damage output i honestly have to put him at a c grade level it's a very bad thing that they chose this route personally i believe that if he was given the user and stand mode ability he would be basically uh, another narancha in a sense so i'm kind of like half and half in regards to what i feel and how i feel in regards to why they went about it this way but i truly truly wished that when you activated heavy artillery they would have gave him the onset even if it is the same uh style of punching in regards to the square and medium that they gave him the onset of the reset when you're staying canceling 
that's just my thing and that goes against the way you have to play with him because this character definitely gets very very technical in that regards it is a big difference that's really the only thing that i feel that he got hit the worst on is his damage output and i think that in a future patch him getting patched up to buff up his damage would be great in order to make his usage and utility in regards to uh being a top character up there uh there per se ultimately after using this character for a while hopping online and checking him out i truly believe that his character has one if not the best ultimate in the game i really love the stylistics the way it everything just plays out stepping on the mine the helicopter angles coming in the whole freezing and being everything is just perfect and i think that that's the part that makes me love this particular special over a lot of the ones that come out in the past i'm honestly telling you guys this special right here this ultimate right here for me is top five top five top five top five honestly von stronheim's ultimate is great top three top three top three but this guy's ultimate is part of that top five top five top five that combined with his design and his model and pretty much his kit has made this character be to me solid b plus character into the dlcs of the jojo's all-star battle r roster i believe that he needs some buffs i believe that his combo kit is very extensive and that he personally will change the meta in regards to what we get with his character and it's interesting to see how many people are going to come up with up with different combos to show what they're made of in regards to using keicho nijimura this is dbgtx i hope you guys enjoyed this particular review and if you did y'all already know what to do slap the thumbs up slap the like slap the share continue coming on through and showing love here on the channel for some more dbgtx review on all star battle r content holla at the boy and i'll catch you guys next time here on the channel let's get it